Hey everybody, sorry I was sick yesterday. I'm back. This is assignment 53. I'm so proud of some of you guys for catching up. I'm sorry I haven't got back to you. I've looked at your text, but I just haven't got around to putting, I like to say you did well right whenever I put your grade in focus. So I haven't given you new, told you yet if they were right or not. So I got to catch up on my part too. Assignment 53. Let's go to, I'm going to give you this problem first, and it looks confusing, but you already know how to do it. So first, let's think, whenever we solve an equation, the things that you have to do first are, uh, dang it, I had it, and I can't remember where I put it, sorry. <laughs> I don't want to start this video over, so I'm just going to go ahead and wing it. Okay, before you solve an equation, you may have to do the distributive property. Remember, that's like... This is the distributive property. Now you may have to do that first. And you also may have to combine like terms so you have to combine all these x's first into 3x equals 3. Okay, So that's combining like terms. But you're also going to have to put all the variable on one side. So you can't have x's on both sides of the equation of the equal sign, so you got to move them all to one side. And whenever you move it, you do the opposite. So that's the things you have to do before you solve an equation. Remember, I used to have that written on a piece of paper, but I'm sorry, I left it at school. Okay. So I'm going to work my problem. So you're going to have to refer back to this if you have problems on yours, okay? Um, Here's the problem. Sorry, I already wrote the little distributive property arrows. So this is the problem. Make sure you notice that right here is where the equal sign is. So I like to draw a line down the equal sign. So it will show me the left-hand side of the equal sign and the right-hand side of the equal sign. So I'm going to do the distributive property. That's going to be 4 times x, and then I'm going to do 4 times positive 5. Now you know he's a positive 4 because he doesn't have anything in front of him, so that means he's an invisible positive. You just know if they don't have anything in front of them, they are a positive 4. So next row, that would end up being, okay, that would end up being 4x plus 20. Then you're going to distribute the 3. 3x, and that's 3 times a negative 2, which would be negative 6. Then you're going to do a negative 2 times x, put the answer there, and then a negative 2 times a positive 2, put the answer there. Now notice right here your answer was 20. You can't just leave it 4x and 20. You have to have something to connect those two. So you have to say he's a positive 20. That's where that plus came from. Because 4 times 5 is a positive 20. Next row, I'm going to combine like terms. Put all the x's together. 3x and a negative 2, which means the same thing as 3x minus 2 would give you 1x. Negative 6 and a negative 4 make a negative 10. Or you could say negative 6, subtract 4, either one. So now we've combined like terms, but now you say, oh, I can't have x's on this side and x's on that side. So I take the one that's smaller. So I say the number one is smaller than four. So I make the number one move. When I say move him, I want to get rid of him over here. I want him to be over here. So how do we always get rid of something? We do the opposite. So I say if I want to get rid of him, I'm going to do the opposite, which is minus 1x. You have to do it on both sides and because you know it's going to cancel out. So that's why you do the opposite because you're wanting all the x's to be over here. So after you move the x over here, it becomes only 3x's plus 20 equals. Now make sure you know that negative goes with the 10, negative 10. Then it's a regular two-step equation that you're very familiar with. So that you say, what's keeping the x from being isolated? So I like to go ahead, before I even do all that, I like to go ahead and write down here x equals. 
to remind myself what I'm solving for. So I say, oh, the opposite of plus 20 is minus 20. Mark those out. 3x equals negative 10, subtract 20, or negative 10 and a negative 20 together make negative 30. What's the opposite of times 3? Divide 3 x equals negative 10. I'm going fast because this is a review. Even though it looks really hard, you've done all this before. Now here's your problem. Same stuff. So remember, before you work an equation, you may have to do the distributive property first, combine like terms, and move all the variables to one side. You may have to do all of that before you even start the two-step equation. So I already see you're going to do some distributive property here. Okay, You can't have x's on both sides. So there's your problem. Feel free to look back at mine for help. And have a good spring break. I might send some little assignments over spring break, but don't feel like you have to do them over spring break. Okay? Bye.